look at a feature of Buzzsaw that is underused, I think, and it's called uh, Lock Permission. What, what Lock Permission allows you to do is make sure that your permissions don't get messed up by people who are working above you. And it's commonly used for bid folders. So, you know, here's an example. You have a community or a project, and in that project you've got people who are going to be looking at information to put in a bid or a price or a tender on the project. And in one of these folders, you want people to be able to drop their bid. So you see here, Acme Drywall has put in a bid here. Well, one of the challenges that people have is making sure that other people don't see those permissions. That's a real important deal. So what Buzzsaw has built into it is a way for you to set up, obviously, permissions. And I can say, okay, these are all the people who have access to this thing. And then you can see what their permission is. Let me shrink this a bit so we can see it a little better. Um, so if you look, the public has view access. We don't want that because that means anybody can come in and see those bids. Um, we don't want to send that either. Um, let's just say, let me just sort these. I don't, I don't want anyone but groups in my permission. I also think it's a good uh, practice to not have individual members in your folder permissions because it makes it harder to manage. Everybody should be part of a group. Don't do that. Don't do that. There we go. And all of these guys too. Let's get rid of them. Okay. Now, here's your groups. Okay, let's say that you like this now. This is the way you want it. I don't want this to change. These are the only people who are ever going to be able to deposit in this, and I don't want to ever see that change. What you can do, it tells you right here that this permission list lock is unlocked. If you flip to here, and you say lock permission set, now what's going to happen is, let's go over here. See, now it says locked by me, and if I look back, it says uh, locked, or it should. Well, it may not. That could be a bug, but don't worry about it, because it, it's locked. Okay, let's go in and hit uh, OK. And now, you see that little icon there? That means that it's locked. So uh, now, if I create a new user up here, let's, let's add, let me do, uh, let's bring up the project properties on that. Sorry that that went off the screen. Let's make this a bit smaller. I'm trying to keep this video small to where you can actually read it. You may, the bottom may be cut off. Uh, if we look here, um, if I add a person to the project now, I'm going to get an error when I do it. Let's add a AAA flooring. Now it's going to tell me some things. It's going to say one or more of the items in the folder could not be updated. That is because of the lock. That's because of the permission lock that I created. And so, see right there, it says a lock permission list. So that's telling you that your lock is working. And if you if you look at the uh, the permission list on anything underneath it, like let's look at bid forms for example. This is not the folder I locked. There's AAA flooring, they just got added. Okay, so they're now in that folder where they weren't before. But if we go to bid response and we look at that one, I'm gonna right click on that and say properties. And look at the members on that one. They're not in there. See, they didn't get in because we locked the permission. So in, in a, if you hadn't done that, now we'd have a person who would have view access to the, to the bid deposit. So that's not what we want. So all, I say always lock permission lists on bidding folders or anywhere that you have information that you want to make sure that's critical that people don't uh, get access to accidentally through permission changes that happen up above. Okay, hope that made sense. Uh, thanks a lot.